I'm an audio producer. Um, I've worked in radio for now around 15 years. And my role here uh, for the In Between project is to uh, help students get to know a little bit about putting sounds together. I think uh, this project is uh, good because it's international, so we can cooperate together with people from different countries, different backgrounds, different studies. There are a lot of people, they are um, older than me, more experienced, but I'm here to learn, so I'm excited. Yeah, there are cool people in this group. They have like impressive skills. We are quite similar. What's very important uh, for when they are in their respective locations, they'll already have a kind of sense of which sounds to look out for, or which sounds might be interesting for the pieces which they'll be producing over the week. Yeah. Yashin is really interesting. There's not a lot of uh, border regions like this where uh, the river would split the town in two parts. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how the uh, locals feel about the city. I like the fact that we get to uh, meet some interesting people, to uh, interview them, uh, and the, that it's tied to this specific region of uh, Tieshin, which I found fascinating. We visited uh, three museums. The first two was uh, about uh, the history of Silesia. The first one was Polish and the second one was Czech. And the third one was about uh, Lutheran church here. And uh, we also heard a concert in church. The thing that we are most interested in is the fact that there is this bridge that clearly marks where the border stands and that as soon as you cross over it you're into the new country and it seems like this bridge connects people um, or disconnects them like during the pandemic. Firstly, we learned about oral history. Secondly, we learned how to properly conduct an interview. And maybe for the last part, we learned how to tell a story with sounds and audio. It's very, very different and interesting to focus on the sounds of a city because it gives you a different perspective on the city. We recorded many, many sounds and we talked about many sounds. Um, for example, the crickets, I think you can hear them right now. Um, they are, yeah, they are always there in both parts of the city. Um, also the church bells, you can hear them often, but maybe more on the Italian side. Um, I think also the train was very important for us because we went to the Transalpina Square a lot where the border um, where you can find the border between Italy and Slovenia. I definitely remember the first time we went to the uh, Trgevropi and the Piazza delle Transalpine um, because I didn't expect that. I knew we were continuously talking about a border, but I did not want to look it up on Google or research it. I wanted, to, I wanted it to hit me properly when I'm there. And this impression that I had and the story behind is something that I will remember for a long time. The podcast will be about this city, about Gorizia, and how the borderline shaped 
the city but also the lives of the people living in it. Um, so we want to show where is the separation but also where is the unity, where do people come together, where do they meet and how can we fight against stereotypes and work together. I come from a country which is in a very similar situation as this particular border between two countries and I was just very caught by the title in between, perpetually relevant I think. I am very happy to, to be a part of, of, a, of a project like this. It, uh, it is a very pleasant thing to talk from you know, future intellectuals from all across Europe. I think that exchange between the youth of a transnational youth is essential. I think this program is very relevant, especially when you look at the European situation right now. And I think it is so important that we work together and that we promote European spirit in which people come together, discuss things and yeah, learn from each other. <laughs>